This is going to be a good one. <laughs> they all have been, haven't they? Um, but, yeah, what a joy to get to this. It's <laughs> the big boys. It is Livraisen against Sportiger. It's the final everyone wanted. One and two in the rankings, 11 points separating them. So Livraisen is already our champion. But Bottiger would like to narrow the gap. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's some bragging rights here, isn't there? Mm -hmm. The last race of the evening. The big one to close things off for this whole event. So, the face tells the story. The raisin. It's like he's still gump gulping for air. I think that's the hope, really, uh, for Bottiger, is that uh, the raisin is um, maybe just a percentage or two down. Can Bottiger step into that vanguard? He's beaten him in the in the Kirin, but can he do it here in the sprint? Probably. He's got a 50-50 chance. Well, <laughs> yeah, um, he, he has. <laughs> Except uh, history tells us that Lebrecht has to be favourite, but I've got a feeling that Bottiger might have the edge here. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, it's very hard to say. We don't know how they're feeling, but the way that lebrazen has been sprinting, both of them have been sprinting, but I'd say Lebrezen's a favourite, but you always want the underdog to win. Well, Bollinger, uh, they're playing Verde's Requiem. Wait for the big drum, here it comes. And they're off. Well, who's going to be banging it later? Let's wait and see. The pair of them here, either one of them, could be setting the tempo. Let us wait and see. It's going to be cagey, and that's what you've got to love here. The cagier it is, the better it is for Lebrazen. Bottiger has to impose himself. Yep, he definitely does indeed. He knows what he has to do. He knows how he can beat him. He's just making sure he nails that right down to the tee, which is easier said than done. He's up against the best sprinter on the track for quite a few years now. So to get round him, it's going to be difficult, but he's got to have a go at doing it, and he's definitely going to do that, pushing him, making him there go faster. Go. Picks it up, goes to the rail. That's a lot of drop-off he wants to use here, coming off these turns. Two laps remaining. High, wide and handsome, gets a bit of impetus, uh, courtesy of those angles. Still looking over his shoulder, Le Vraisen hasn't turned on the power just yet, but he's going to have no choice but to do exactly that. We're coming into our final lap right now, and Le Vraisen has an advantage, but some rush room here for Bottiger. Can he make it count? He's in that aero pocket right now, and he comes out into the wind at the very last. Two, three, three, four, can he get there on the line? No! It's Le Vraisen that takes it, and is our worthy champion. Brilliant. Well, the crowd loved that as much as we did. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And he did exactly what we expected him to do. Out the saddle in the back straight, just getting out that little bit of extra power, putting the power down and being able to, to staple in that he is still the fastest man at track sprinting.